This is lesson 7-4, which is factoring polynomials. Our essential question is how is factoring a polynomial similar to factoring integers? So our first example is to find the greatest common factor, which we sometimes call the GCF, um, of the terms. So what you want to do is I want to kind of make a factor tree for each of these numbers. So I'm going to write this out so I have more space. So 12x to the 5th plus 8x to the 4th minus 6x cubed. Okay, so I'm going to factor tree 12. So I know 12 is 3 times 4 and 4 is 2 times 2. So I take these factors and I write them out. 3 times 2 times 2. And then there's 5x's. So I'm going to write 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, now 8 is 4 times 2, and 4 is 2 times 2. So my prime factors there are 2 times 2 times 2, and then I have 1, 2, 3, 4 x's. Okay, and then 6 is 2 times 3, which is, can't simplify that any further, so 2 times 3, and 3 x's. Okay, so what I want to do is with all of those factors written out, I want to circle the biggest thing that I can take out of all of them. So do they all have a three? Nope, the middle one's missing a three. Do they all have a two? This one has a two, this one has a two, and that one has a two. Now the first two have a second two, but the third one does not. So I, that's all for the numbers that I can take. Then they all have an X. They all have another X. And they all have a third X but I can't keep going because that third term, I don't have another x. So that would mean, so I'd write down what I circled that was a common through all of them. They all had a two and they all had three x's. So that would be x cubed. So the GCF for that expression would be two x cubed. Okay, for the second one, we're gonna factor out the greatest common factor now. So one tip is that if we have a negative for the first term, we're going to want to factor out that negative, and we'll talk about that once we get to the end part. Okay, so 12 is 2 times 6, 6 is 2 times 3, so I have 2 times 2 times 3 and 3 x's. Okay, 18 is 2 times 9, and 9 is 3 times 3, so that means I have 2 times 3 times 3 and 2 x's. And then 27 is 3 times 9, and 9 is 3 times 3. So 3 times 3 times 3, and 1x. Okay, so now I look for common things. They don't all have a 2. They do all have a 3. And it looks like they all have an x. And that's it. So that means that my GCF is going to be 3x, but because that first term's negative, I'm gonna pull out a negative with it. So it's gonna be negative three X. And then what I do is I write each term, I write what's left. So two times two is four X squared. And by taking out that negative, putting it out front, it's gonna change the sign of everything inside. So now that's a positive four X squared. Now this one was plus, so it's going to be minus and it's going to be two times three is six x. And then that was a minus, so this is going to be plus nine. So this is what you would get if you were asked to factor out the greatest common factor. And that helps us simplify what's inside the parentheses. If there is no negative out front, you don't have to do that change of sign like we did. Okay, and our final example says, Alani is in charge of marketing for a travel company. She is designing a brochure that will have six photos. The photos can be arranged on a page in a number of ways. So it says we have two squares that are X by X. So this one is X by X. And then we have four that are one by X. So what's the total area? 
So we have 2 that are x by x, so that would be 2 times x squared, plus we have 4 of them that are 1 times x, so that would be 2x squared plus 4x. Okay, so now it says to find a rectangular arrangement for the photos. So let's put them all in a line. So I could do the two squares and then the four, four narrow rectangles. So what factoring represents that? So that would be x times this distance here. We have 2x. So this would be x, x, and these are all ones. So this would be 2x plus 4. And then it says to factor out the GCF. So here we have 2x squared plus 4x. So this would be 2 and 2x's. This would be 2 times 2 and an x. So our GCF would be a 2 and an x. So we'd write 2x and we'd have leftover x plus 2. So finally it says, which of these two arrangements is more practical use of space on a page of, for the brochure? Probably this one. And this one matches our, um, has the width of x plus 2. So x plus 2 and has the, this width of 2x. So that goes back to our GCF. So 2x times x plus 2, that would make more sense to use our GCF factorization for the arrangement of the pictures on the page. Okay, let me